I had the opportunity to travel to Kenya when I was between 13 and 14 years old with the Philadelphia Zoo. And getting there um, and getting to watch predator prey, dynamics actually watching lions hunt for the first time, it was National Geographic at its best. And getting that exposure at that young of an age set the tone for the rest of my life, the rest of my career, that I wanted to make sure that these systems, that these processes, predator prey in particular, remained intact, that we would always have that in, in our ecosystem. My name is Naima Harris. I am currently a PhD candidate in the Fisheries and Wildlife Program here at NC State. I'm studying patterns of carnivore diversity across North America, so trying to figure out where there are more species and less species and their corresponding parasites. The concern is that as land use changes, as climate change happens, as urbanization and the popula human population grows, there's less space, of course, for our wildlife animals. With us having this impact on wildlife, carnivores in particular, there's going to be consequences to the organisms that depend on them. So in the case of a parasite, if a carnivore becomes more and more endangered and has the possibility of, of going extinct, the parasite has two options. They either go extinct with the host or they have to switch to a new host. And the concern there is they're going to switch to the most abundant resource in the landscape. And I'm sure you know who that is. <laughs> That's us or our domesticates, our domestic animals, um, agricultural animals. One component of the research is, is modeling just patterns across space and time. In terms of me actually going out in the field, I've gone out and found collaborators all across the United States that are working on threatened and endangered species, carnivores. To date, I've gone to California to sample island foxes, collecting ectoparasites, so fleas, ticks, lice, mites, those type of critters, off of island foxes, black-footed ferrets in South Dakota, Mexican wolves in Arizona and New Mexico, and I just came back from Maine trying to get samples from Canada lynx. The Philadelphia Zoo was my first job. As a part of their 100, 150th anniversary, they had a very big celebration, and, and one of the themes had to do with conservation. And so they gave out three awards related to conservation. The award that I received was the Emergent Conservation Leader Award. I'm going to Africa this summer to Namibia, Botswana, and South Africa. It's a part of NC State's um, study abroad program um, through the Fisheries and Wildlife program. So I'll be over there getting some experience with desert ecology and a lot of the wildlife species there. I'm going to visit a couple universities, work with some nonprofits, and just discuss the possibility of upon graduation working on a research project over there. The other endeavor, I am in the process of starting a nonprofit, um, and that nonprofit is focusing on exposing minority communities to outdoors and natural resources, wildlife, just given the next generation some of the opportunities that, that I had. It's challenging <laughs> sometimes, but also very rewarding, and I couldn't imagine doing anything else, so I'm exactly where I need to be.